the ultimate hater of black human beings. The ultimate hater. There is nothing about her existence that says, I'm black and I'm proud. So nothing. She don't even try. Try and to fuck with the, with the folk. Well, that bitch, they, they know, man. They can't so have you know, people. Steven, All right, you guys, listen to what Corey Holcomb had to say about Malika Andrews, and then I'm going to get back to you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video out. Who do y'all think is the biggest coconut on ESPN? Graham. Who's the biggest coconut? Graham Cracker. I, it's, between, it's between Stephen A. Smith and this girl named Malika Andrews. I don't know who Malika is, but I de definitely believe Stephen A. Smith. Uh, I don't, I don't, if somebody go harder than Stephen A. Smith, boy, they, they got to be some, some cold motherfuckers, man. Well, listen to what I'm finna tell you, little bro. It's this bro on ESPN named Malika Andrews, and this bitch is a black man hater. Yeah. She don't like black people. And I be so worried about one of my guys. I call him one of my guys. It's a guy that I got love for, Jalen Rose. When he be up there, because he do a TV show with her, the NBA broadcast. But this is what happened with the bitch Malika a Andrews. This motherfucker, Jalen Rose, good nigga, mm -hmm. got too happy with the heifer and gave her a hug while they was on the broadcast. Mm -hmm. When he hugged the funky bitch, she said on TV, get your hand out of my armpit. Oh my God. And everybody saw his hand wasn't under the armpit. <laughs> she tried it. But she did this on TV. Oh Not man. She tried to get a nigga home. When it's time to go to commercial, hey Jalen. I feel like you put your hand under my arm, Pete. You know, everybody saw he didn't do that. Yeah. Everybody saw it. This funky bitch always finding a way to shoot the original man down. She married to white man. Bullshit a lot. Yeah, she uh, got a bullshit a lot of husband. This bitch, <sighs> this, you see, she a half breed bitch. Yeah. She good for fucking, but not for cuffing. He probably you see did. the bitch, you don't want to fuck the bitch because the bitch is for fucking, not for cuffing. Damn. And I'm saying, when Dana White, wop, wop, skibbity pat his wife, mm -hmm. this bitch didn't have nothing to say. Brett Favre, nothing to say. She never talks about Caucasian male foul play. But she will always find a way to jam a brother up. Everybody, if you ain't seen the clip, watch the clip when the bitch say that brother put his hand under her armpit. Ain't nobody touched your armpit funky hoe. Always trying to jam a motherfucking brother up. Always. That's why I say she is more of a coconut than Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith admitted the white people, the racist Caucasian people that run that network, they, he said, that's my boss, and I'm going to do what they say to keep getting my money. That's what he said. Yeah. So at least he his admitted. heart yeah. let him know he ain't shit. Do she, do she try to pander the black people? What do you mean? Do she be trying to like pander the black people? Do she be trying to act like she, she fuck with the culture? No, listen, they on a show together, so they smile. But what I'm saying to you is this. All the women of that network might smile with you because it's an opportunistic moment for them to look good. But all them women on that network look like they are anti-brother. Yeah. You tell me a woman on that network that look like she's about her people. I want to see it. They got one girl that do football. She is so out of place. Look. Funky bitch. But look, uh, yeah, hey, get that hoe off the screen before she motherfucking call up here and say we did something foul to her. That but look straight too though. Look, I'm saying you a fucker. Hell yeah, I did knock It's a lot of girls good for fucking, but not for cuffing. God damn it. Dang. You don't try to wife no evil. Eh? Oh, Stephen A. Smith has finally met his match on the coons, I mean the uh the goon squad up there. The coconuts. Definitely cool squad. <laughs> With this bitch. They, this bitch hate brothers.
put her on blast for that because I got the receipts to show it. The things she said about brothers and not about no others. Yeah. Everybody needs to know who she is on site. Oh, that's the bitch that don't like black people. So what y'all think about what Corey Holcomb had to say? Do y'all agree with him or do y'all disagree? Of course, I'm going to have to agree with him. The stuff that Malika Andrews has done, is surprised, it really surprises me that she's still on ESPN. And I've been stating this already and saying that, you know, she spoke on a dead black person. And, you know, a lot of people already have tea on what she's done and the stuff that she said and just all the little sneaky little things she does. We all seen through it. And that's why nobody likes her. Like we all we have a lot of receipt on what she's capable of. And I've said this in my last video. So if you're new, uh, it, I, I read a source saying something about when she was a kid. She was upset and depressed because her mother, she, she didn't have the same skin tone as her mother, but more so of her dad's complexion because we know that her mom is Jewish and her dad is African-American. But both parents were in their lives, the sister and Malika Andrews, and they were tight. They were all tight together, had a good marriage and everything. And I'm surprised that that made her feel some kind of way how she didn't like her skin complexion. She wanted to be her mother's. And I'm not sure what kind of school she went to, but I know she did drop out of middle school, something with middle school. And I don't know, maybe she was bullied as a kid because she was, you know, darker tone. She probably went to a school where people didn't look the same way as her, possibly. And maybe she was bullied or, you know, maybe people were clowning her. I don't know. It, it might have something to do with the childhood that made her feel insecure. I don't know, but... It should be no excuse or reason why you should always bash black people or hate on black people. Like, what is it that you have against us? Knowing you are the same race, you should embrace yourself and love yourself. But get in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think on what Corey Holcomb said. And let me know if you agree. And also give out you guys' takes. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation as all. And uh, if you're new, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to hear all you guys' opinions. Let's get to 4,000 subs. I appreciate all you guys. Share this video out. That's all I got for you guys. I'm out.